I didn't say I was ready. Now I'm ready. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to this Giga Hub one shot. Uh, I am Luis De La Torre, and before I go any further, uh, I'm going to I want to talk about Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. Uh, we have everything you need that your nerdy little heart could ever desire. Um, located in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And, of course, we now ship worldwide or just <laughs> no, nationwide. 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 Um, so there you go. Um, so for my one shot today, I want to review a show that I just finished watching. There's only 12 episodes of it currently because I don't know why Netflix has this idea of releasing this 12 episodes at a time. But here we are. Uh, my review of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the new <laughs> season, Stone Ocean. Uh, the sixth installment in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series. It's no secret that I'm late to the JoJo party. Um, I only started watching it this year, and I binged the entire thing this year. Um, up until, you know, a certain... Up until now, actually, I binged everything. But uh, it's quickly become one of my absolute favorite anime. And this, of course, is Hirohiko Araki's sixth story arc in uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And it's a it's kind of a departure from his usual formula because uh, the protagonist in this series, as well as the... Um, the Well, actually, basically most of the heroes and villains of this series are all women. Uh, and... Previous story arcs, obviously, there in women were mostly at best tertiary or secondary characters. But here in, in this particular uh, story arc, they've taken the uh, the forefront of the entire season. Um, so this particular this particular season was published uh, was serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump from two thousand January first two thousand to April twenty first two thousand three with 17 volumes, and it takes place in 2011. So um, you tell me how that works. The story stars uh, Jolene Cujo, uh, who, if you don't know, is the daughter of the protagonist of Stardust Crusaders and general mainstay for the last few seasons since, uh, Jotaro Cujo, who is the most popular JoJo or the most well-known JoJo in the series. Um Netflix released it uh, in early December and have only released, tw or late November, early December, and have uh, only released 12 episodes, unfortunately, uh, with more set to uh, air at some point. Um, but the story is set in 2011. Uh, just a quick rundown of the, uh, the synopsis of what I have so far, because I don't read the manga. I don't uh, watch ahead anywhere else. I just kind of wait for it to come up on Netflix. So yeah, I know uh, you can flame me in the comments. Damn. Yeah, you flame in the comments. It's fine. Um, it's set in 2011. Uh, at the beginning, you, uh, Jolene Cujo is with her boyfriend in Port St. Lucie, Florida, uh, where they become involved in an accident that kills a man. Um, Jolene is set up to take the, the blame by her boyfriend and her lawyer uh, and is incarcerated for 15 years at the Dolphin Street Prison in Florida. Uh, in an attempt to be broken out by her father, Joe Tarokujo, whom I mentioned, uh, he gives her a pendant with a fragment of the stand arrow that gives her her stand ability. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, they try to break out of prison and they are attacked by the antagonist of this series, who is uh, Enrico Pucci, who has a stand known simply as White Snake who is able to steal your memories and your soul, and in stealing your soul also steals your stand ability. Um, yeah, I know. It's a lot for people who haven't watched JoJo, but trust me, it's very good. Um, like I said, currently there's only 12 episodes on Netflix. Um, it's It still follows the same formula as the other uh, JoJo seasons in which you fi they find themselves in particular problems or particular situations, and apparently every character in that show is some kind of battle tactician even the dumbest person in that show is smart enough to know how to f how to lay out some sort of a battle plan it's really odd there's so many times where i'm like you know if i was in that situation i probably would have died um or lost or whatever um uh the season is notable because it's a little a lot of the themes in this season are a lot more adult they do take place in a uh, in a prison uh, mostly in the women's side of this prison, uh, but there's also it's it's a huge prison that has male and female inmates. But it takes place in uh, 
uh, the female side of the prison for the most part. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, there is a scene uh, in the very first episode. She uh, she openly discusses uh, being caught masturbating by a guard. Uh, there is a very funny scene where she is strip searched by uh, two uh, two of the uh, prison guards, which is a very risque, but it it is really funny. Um, I mean, so far this season has been pretty strong. I mean, just judging from the first twelve episodes, uh, Jolene is a very strong and capable protagonist, along with her other uh, Joe Bros, as they call it. Her uh, her female her female allies, and she's shown herself to be just as capable as any of the main JoJo's uh, or any of the JoJo's. They're already main JoJo's in uh, any of the other series. Um, we don't get too far again. It's only twelve episodes, uh, with more to be released soon. But so far, it's been pretty great. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've tried so hard not to binge it in one day. <laughs> So I try to like really stretch it out to like watching one episode every couple of days, um, which is extremely hard. It's very when we live in an age where you can get an entire season right off the bat. It's so disheartening to only get like a quarter of a season at a time. Um, but so far, it's been really good. Um, if you still haven't watched any of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I highly recommend that you watch them. Um, they are all connected, at least. You know, at least in a, in, a, in a small way. So I do recommend that you watch it from the first season to the current season, if at all possible. Um, I would say, I mean, let's. I'm just going to give it a rating. I, I would say out of four stars, this the show so far has been four stars. It's been a four star show, especially this season. So uh, there you go, Stone Ocean, been really Stone good. Ocean. I highly recommend it uh, if you haven't seen it already. And you said those are on Netflix. They're all on Netflix. Yeah, every every season so far that's been animated is is on Netflix. Um, cool. So you can watch them all there. Uh, anyway, if you guys have any opinions about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure or even just this season of Stone Ocean, uh, you can let me know in the comments, uh, good or bad, whatever. I'll read them. And uh, if you like or don't like this video, either or, uh, <laughs> just you know. Hit the like or dislike button. Uh, at least let the algorithm know what you think. And if you do like it, you can hit subscribe and get more one-shots from me or the other hosts. And then we also have a main show that you can check out. So that's all I got. I'll see you guys next time.